60% of the world is covered with water, and yet 780 million people in the world lack access to safe water supplies. Today, 2,000 children will die, not because of war or disaster, but simply because of dirty water. 3.5 million more people will die this year to water-related diseases. Around the world, both biological disease agents and chemical pollutants are compromising drinking water quality. Natural disasters such as flooding also add to worsening water conditions. They can increase microbial contamination, salinization, and water contamination by hazardous materials release. In response, water purification projects have been utilized to combat the dirty water. However, these methods face major barriers such as high price, maintenance, conservation of fossil fuels, and unhygienic waiting periods. Chlorination, the process of adding chlorine to water, is inexpensive but can lead to disinfection byproducts and cause cancer and other diseases. Boiling of water is simple to use but is costly due to use of fuel. Contamination and recontamination are major problems for many of the sources of water in underdeveloped regions. Even if a village has water that was at one time purified, recontamination occurs between delivery and consumption, both in transportation and in the homes due to the lack of storage. Current solutions? While many options have been explored to try and solve this problem, there is one which has recently been implemented by several nonprofit organizations across the world that is particularly cheap and effective. It is the use of colloidal silver, silver impregnated ceramic pot filters, or CPF filters. They are the way of the future for water purification. Brief overview of the process. As for the process, the pots can be made anywhere. Ceramic pots are usually made from the local local clay mixed with com a combustible material. The two are mixed together with water until it forms a homogeneous mixture. The mixture is pressed into shape using a mold. When the pot is fired in the kiln, a combustible material burns out, leaving the network of fine pores through which the water can flow. Colloidal silver is applied to a ceramic pot filter after firing or added to the clay mixture prior to fire. The cost for cost-effective solutions, materials need to be readily accessible in the places the solutions are being implemented. These pots are a good solution because the only material that cannot be easily found in the region is silver, which can be made readily and cheaply elsewhere and transported to the factories to be added to the pot. What is a filter? The main removal mechanism of the CPF filters are the pores of the clay. The small pores don't allow larger microorganisms to pass through the filters. Current filters have a pore size of about 1 micron. The level of removal depends on the size of the organisms. The size of bacteria, bacteria range from 0.3 to 100 microns, while protozoa range from 8 to 10 microns. What does the silver do? The silver disables the enzyme that pathogenic bacteria and fungi use for oxygen metabolism, thus suffocating them. Silver renders pathogens unable to reproduce, and it kills the parasites while in their egg state. Why are these a great option? There are a long list of properties that come along, along with the filters that make them such an effective solution. They are cheap and can be made locally by almost anybody. They are functional for several years and are very sustainable. The pots can be scrubbed with a brush in order to remove particles that fall into the pores and disrupt the filtering process. The mean reduction for E. coli is 99% for these filters. These filters are effective at reducing diarrheal disease by 50%. Areas of improvement. There are more than a few improvements that can be made to CPFs. Problems include slow filtration rates. We want the flow to be fast, but not too fast. Slower is generally better because this is what makes it effective. Longer time in contact with the silver means less pathogens get through. Also, innately clay is fragile. Changes in geometry could increase the strength, and some companies have experimented with putting a carbon residual into the clay to increase the strength. Additionally, overuse leads to a reduction in silver particles and therefore a reduction in effectiveness. Most importantly, however, CPFs cannot filter out viruses. However, the water that is put through the ceramic filters is usually turbid, and some scientists suggest that the more turbid the water, the more a virus may attach itself to organic particles, which the bot is effective at filtering out. However, no formal research has been done on this method, and this is still the main thing wrong with CPFs. Some problems are innate to CPFs and cannot be fixed. For example, the fragility is always going to be associated with anything ceramic, and thus they are prone to breaking. Also, the slow filtration rates are what makes the CPF effective. 
cleansing is required for it to last a long time as well. All right, good morning, class. Uh, first of all, I'm going to get some lines on the board, Micah. All right, so how does this relate to what we've learned this semester? As we've learned, processing determines structure and the properties of the materials. We can see the water purifying process <coughs> done through ceramic silver impregnated pot as this liquid flows through the pores of the clay. In this case, the flow rate depends on the pore size. The larger the pores are, the higher the flow rate. However, we don't want too big of a flow rate, as this means less time in contact with the silver and less debris removed. So, how is the pore size controlled through the process of manufacturing clay? The answer is the burnout materials that are used. Micah? All right, so what's burnout material? It's essentially an agricultural byproduct that's added to the clay to kind of help with the porosity of the filter, which of course affects the flow rate. The material can be almost anything. Um, it can be sawdust, rice husks, corn husks, typically the most used. Um, during the manufacturing process, they're received through 20 or 16 mesh screen to control the particle size. Note that the higher the mesh, or the, the mesh number is the finer the particles. Now, how does that relate to what we've been learning? Well, the process of how all this is made creates a unique structure, which in this case is a network of fine, fine pores that are kind of put together and allow water to flow through. Um, and this gives the material the unique property of actually being able to filter the water. Another way we've learned uh, how, what, how this is related to class, um, you can look at the internal cracks and how they make the material weaker. This of course comes into play with these ceramic pots because we want our pots to be resistant to cracking and, and so that way they are strong. Um, cracking means that the pathogens can potentially get in and contaminate the water. Various tests have been developed to see if there's an internal crack, um, including the acoustic and pressure tests. If water seeps through the pot after you've held it underwater for 10 seconds, then the internal cracks are present. So let's go ahead and uh, take a content check for you. All right, so everyone understand? It seemed as though a few participants weren't, weren't active. Vivian, wake up. Come on. Anyways, silver is added to improve the microbiological effectiveness of the filters. Colloidal silver, a suspension of silver nanoparticles, acts as a disinfectant. Filters are coated with colloidal silver after firing. Both the inside and outside of the filter should be coated evenly for increased effectiveness. Silver is diluted in 10 to 20 liters of water, and 300 milliliters of this solution is applied to each filter. A solution is either painted on, dipped, or integrated into the filter mix prior to firing. There is a general agreement that it's most effective to have it on the inside and out. Also, <coughs> dipping is believed to be more effective because it coats everything. But the amount of silver applied is much more important than the application method. The process <coughs> creates a unique structure. <coughs> it gives our ceramic pot filter a unique property which enables it to purify water effectively. 